spiritual growth in marriage what would you be able to do when you and your life partner doesn't have the same level of spiritual interest or maturity the answer does not lie in addressing or controlling your mate rather consider the accompanying five moves you can make to better comprehend your life partner and make the idea of other worldly development all the more captivating to him or her be patient whether your companion is hindu a muslim or follows any other religion it is hard not to cross a line when your companion does not think about the most imperative thing in your life in case attempt to recall that god cherishes your mates considerably more than you do he may even be taking your accomplice on an excursion that will at last create a more spiritual confidence in any occasion be cautious god may connect with your mate through you however he doesn't need your assistance unfortunately spiritual clashes are frequently started by a life partner endeavoring to kick off a mate's inner voice or assume the part of the holy spirit try not to stand in the way while flawlessness is inconceivable or even important your conduct can pull in or repulse your companion where spiritual development is concerned you are living out what you are encountering with god is it engaging is your association with god making you a more pleasant individual to live with or only a more religious one the individuals who mul spiritually particularly need to see the genuine deal your mate will grow with you when you are not kidding about your dedication to god and practical about your struggles as well be authentic you ought to impart your confidence to your mate as well as your worries too it is double dealing to imagine you are not stressed when a mate struggles spiritually in any case how you share may be as imperative as what you share the companion who battles with confidence issues need a delicate accomplice to return home to a holier than thou methodology is considered to extend the partition between your accomplice and yourself as well as between your accomplice and god no one needs to be covered or judged or belittled it is not an issue of spiritual initiative or power it is simply human instinct to pull away when anybody attacks your space physically or inwardly stay balanced there is most second thought about the significance of faith be that as it may it's conceivable to lose a sound point of view particularly when you feel your mate's religious responsibility is in question despite the fact that think and believe you can trust god with your accomplice outwardly advancement you may attempt to take matters into your own particular hands now and then a concerned life partner drops clues and welcomes others to offer unwanted direction to the spiritually unconcerned life partner while all around planned these methodologies are manipulative others pull back from a mate and turn out to be unreasonably included with chapel or different religious attempts look at the reason before you take up your companion's battle as simply a sin or transgression issue take some time to consider his connection what was his religious experiences as a child was his confidence sustained or frustrated has he encountered an individual association with god or mere religion the bible is clear we are not approved to judge others at time in marriage we are inclined to judge on account of what we know or think we know about our life partners we do know in any case the god thinks about our mates the struggles may require some investment and may even test our confidence meanwhile we can believe him to support our life partners and our relation 